Hi folks, this is Tony Lee Glenn. I've had so many people ask me about uh, doing additional videos for WordPress and um, and using the Avada template, which is one I really like to use. And listen, I'm going to caution you first of all this video by letting you know that I'm not, you know, I'm not an absolute expert at using this. This is just one that I really like. It's super popular, this template, uh, Avada. And what I should do probably is log out of this so you can see how this website really is going to... You're seeing this top up here uh, on this Grace Episcopal Church website that I'm working for. This is a developmental site. They have another site now, but they wanted something that's responsive design. They could put YouTube videos in. I created these YouTube videos for them. And they wanted it to be, when we say, say responsive design, of course, so that when you got your desktop version, it fills up the screen really nicely like that. Let me close this in the background so you can see this like it is. I'll close some of this stuff up so you don't have to see the source and stuff. Um, but they want to be able to see it like on a on a Apple so that it would shrink down to about like that, right? Or so that on a mobile phone, it would shrink down to something like this. You got the little hamburger thing here where you can click down and see your menus and stuff. And, We've not we've not gone and built these menus yet, but everything shrinks down, and then you have your your videos that shrink down as well. This is a problem. Excuse me, I'm so choked up tonight. This is a problem sometimes with certain templates you'll use in WordPress that your videos don't want to shrink because maybe you've brought them in in iframes or something. There's a, a kind of a more elegant way that Avada allows you to do this so that you can shrink your videos, <clears throat> and so that it would look really good on a mobile site. And you, it's by using Fusion, uh, the Fusion Page Builder. I am so choked up. Pardon me, folks. And so what I've done here, I'll, I'll walk you through a little bit of what I've done with this site. And I'll show you some other sites I've, I've done with Avada. So first of all, <clears throat> you know, you're going you're gonna to edit your stuff uh, in the editor here. And you can see I've, I've built some pages. A lot of these pages don't have any content yet because, seriously, they are still under development. Um... So let me go to the home page first, and we'll go edit. And the way, of course, I get to this, if, if you're totally new to WordPress, you just click on pages over here, and it shows you all the pages that you've got. Now, this particular page, this home page that I've set up, I, I went ahead and used the Fusion Builder. So, you know, this is not what you're used to seeing if you've done WordPress before and you've not used Fusion. Fusion Builder is a really cool tool that is available inside of Avada, and it actually comes with it if you buy the the template, which I think is $55. It's a really good premium template, really it is. Uh, if you go to some of these other pages I've done, you'll see I've not done that. So let me show you what the other pages look like. Uh, so let's say you go to our programs, or uh, I can't remember if I've, I think I put something on green team here. Let me do edit. Just pasted some text and photos and stuff in from the other site. So this is what you're more used to seeing, right? You're used to seeing this kind of thing, and maybe not even as uh, as a full. You might be normally common, commonly used to seeing this. If you click on this, you're able to see a little bit more controls, your toggle toolbar. Oh, crap, there we go. And so, you know, you've got all your additional things, your underlines, your various formatting type stuff here, paste as text, clear formatting. There's, you know, we could go into a whole series of training on what all these various different things do. But, uh, and of course, you got Revolution Slider inside of, in, of any of your pages, which is a, a great slider, you know, it's a slider. This client did not want a, a sliding, um, you know, thing up here at the top. So actually, let me talk just a little bit about what I've done here. This is a logo. Even this is part of the logo. Uh, and maybe I built this the wrong way. I could have <clears throat> done, taken different approaches, but I... Uh, they just wanted this logo to kind of hang over top of the picture. So I made this one big, long, uh, like 960 pixel image. And of course, you see it does size it down uh, if you for your responsive design for whichever format you're using. So how do we use uh, Avada? And, and, and what exactly is it offering in all these different ways um, You know, as far as formatting goes? Well, let me show you. First of all, you go under Appearance, and you got Theme Options here when you've loaded Avada in. And this gives you just a myriad of different things you can do. And, and I'll be honest with you, it's it, the only challenge, this is one of the best templates ever. It's almost anything you want to do is in here. 
You can click here for sponsor design. It comes up by default. The problem is with any feature rich template is good grief. How are you just finding everything, right? And finding out like, I'll give you an example. Um, you know, just, just knowing what something does and what it doesn't do. It seems like one of these things here, header, social icons box. What was I trying to think? There was a, um, I, 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 there was originally on top of this website, there was a blue bar that went across the top. And, and, and you're trying your best to figure out what in the crap, where's this blue bar coming from? And uh, how do I get rid of it? Because the client did not want that blue bar up top. I'm trying to look now. Okay, it was probably something like header, top right content. And I had to do leave empty. And was, there was a big blue bar across the top of it. And it's just a matter of finding, you know, <laughs> it, was, it was a matter of figuring out that this is what it was that controlled that, that even the appearance of that blue bar at the top of the page. So your challenge is going to be uh, finding the parameter in some ways in, in, in some cases it's very apparent what the parameter is that you're trying to work with but so you have various different header options and you can finesse these things to make them do anything you want to do um, you got all these menu options you can control your padding and stuff around the menu how wide the little drop down menu things are look at all this stuff. you just go in here and you just start clicking stuff and testing and and you know maybe you know you, you don't want so much padding around a menu. Maybe you want your mid you mean you uh, drop down items to be a certain width. Maybe 170 is not what you want. You want 140, or you want 210. You know, you've got total control over all this stuff, and it's so nice. Uh, where a lot of people will spend their time will be under typography. They'll go here and they'll pick their fonts. And so I went in here and um, their old site used Georgia, so I go in and I pick the Georgia serif font. You got control over all your font sizes, and this is really helpful. Like you know, uh, when I came up by default, the uh, H1 tag, which is you know the most important, one of the most important ones, was something ridiculously large, like 36 or 40 or something. And you can go in here. The only thing, you, it's like here we go, the, the 24 for your H1. Let's pull up uh, the site just for a second, so I'll show you. So this is, of course, your H1 right here, and this is so important to Google. This is one of the big things that Google's going to look at. So what's your H1 tag? So you want it to be something really dominant, like Welcome to Grace Episcopal Church. And then this is an H2 down here because they want it to be smaller. Um, so, you know, let's say I want it to be a little bit bigger than 24. I'll show you how this works. You just go in here and you just click uh, H1 size and you pick whatever you want it to be. Let's pick something large again. I don't know, 35. And it's will hit go down to the bottom here or if it were at the top either place you got save all changes you click save changes and then we'll show you that again so now you see this is just the regular size we'll do a refresh and now i got that big old huge honking h1 <laughs> but i'm just showing you how easy it is to change things and it's very very quick let's go back and fix that they don't they don't want a 35 inch 35 font they wanted 24 again, so we'll make that change right quick and save. And so, you know, the, the thing you'll have to do is just explore the parameters here. And, um, you know, colors. Colors are under styling. So any styles and things you want to, to, to change for as far as menu colors, font colors, it's all here. And you just go, oh, crap, come on down there. There we go. And so you can pick all your different font colors for where, wherever, for your links, for your body text. You know, and I'm going to have to finesse this a little bit on this site. I'm going to make some changes because I don't think they're going to want all just colors of gray and black. <clears throat> Although that's that's classic. So I know I'm jumping around a bit, folks. I just wanted you to see what all is here. You got your commerce stuff. Good, great. If you, if you want custom uh, cascading style sheets, you can set this all up. Wow, light boxes. It's a lot of this stuff I've not even done. I've not even done a slideshow, honestly, in, in Nevada. Uh, well, I mean, I'm sorry. I have done slideshows. I've not done um, light boxes in Nevada, rather. I'm sorry. Portfolios. Everything is so easy to use. It comes with a ton of short codes. Uh, I'm, we'll, we'll probably, what I think I'm going to do, right, so I don't make this thing so long, is I'll just uh, maybe come back and do small videos on how you use almost all this stuff. So once again, this is sort of an intro. I just wanted you to see all the various different parameters you can control. Uh, 
page title bar heights. I mean, you just it just goes on and on and on. If you want to see where I, how did I do that logo earlier, you see I had to actually bring in this, and um, and it automatically resizes everything. Now, one of the things you'll find, I'll go ahead and say this, and I'll, I'll say it again in future tutorials, is with Avada you can do minus margins, right? Sometimes you'll end up with more white space than you want. To, like there was a lot of white space above the top of this, and there was a good bit of white space between this menu and the and the logo thing here. I mean, I'm talking about there was probably an inch of white space here. And uh, so sometimes the way you get rid of some of the white space, you would think it would be something maybe like, well, my menu, so you can see it's gone now. The, the white space is actually really nice. But you'll say, why is there so much space between my, my menu? I've got my menu uh, padding, the padding across the top of it set to zero, and still there's a half inch of, of, uh, of white space there. Sometimes you'll find in Avada, in this, in this particular template, that you have to go to what's above, for instance, this, and you'll have to say, well, you know, you go to this one and say, well, there's zero padding around this. Well, <laughs> you'll find out that to get the margins the way you want to, you have to do minus 20 pixels, I just kind of stumbled upon this, and you know, maybe more seasoned people using these templates would know. And I've built probably three dozen video uh, websites with uh, with WordPress, and it's only maybe five or six with Avada. So I love Avada; I'm still learning it. But you just have to learn the quirks and everything. So hopefully, this is a good tip for somebody to know that sometimes you're padding. Just make it minuses, and watch what happens. And you'll get you'll get the uh, eventual you'll get the result that you want. It doesn't take a long time, so I'm I'm still learning this one myself. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm, I'm running on, folks. My bad. I tend to do this with some of these videos. I'm gonna stop now. I'll do another video. This so this is just again a quick intro into some of the things you can do. We're gonna work through a number of different sites. I'll be posting these over the next few weeks. Now that I have some time to produce some videos. So if you like these videos, please subscribe. Uh, and check back. It'll take me, you know, a series of or a, over a, a, a probably weeks of time to get all the different things explained that you can do with this. And I want you to be able to know how to resize the videos and stuff as well using the Fusion uh, Page Builder. So that's coming up in future videos. Peace, everyone. Be back with you soon.